This is PTE 101 by Dao PTE. 口语考试的第四个题呢，叫做 Retail Lecture。中文我给它起名叫做重述课堂啊，原因是呢 ，lecture 指的是这种像大学里面这种讲演、演讲式的上课内容啊，所以说它会先放一段听力给你听，然后呢让你去自己说一下。官方的要求呢是这样 ：You will hear a lecture. After hearing to the lecture in ten seconds, please speak into the microphone and retell what you have just heard from the lecture in your own words. You will have forty seconds to give your response. 简单来说，听一段内容。用十秒钟的时间总结一下，然后呢，给你四十秒去说。哎，各位是不是很刺激啊？啊，感觉比较难的，对吧？那么这个题考试的时候会考三到四个题啊，是在我们的 D I 之后 ，Describe Image 之后，十秒准备，四十秒回答。它的进度还有节奏是非常快的。考察 Speaking 跟 Listening 两项，也就是说它也是会给听力来贡献分数的啊，各位。但是呢，给大家来带来一个好消息了，这个题目虽然它比较难。但它的分数占比呢，确实比较轻。换句话讲，你做的非常非常好，说的非常丰富，跟你说的一般丰富。只要你的说的方式没有问题的话，这个分数呢，应该还是 OK 的。啊，为什么这么说呢？因为它的打分依然是沿用我们到现在应该非常熟悉的三维度的打分体系，就是 content、pronunciation 跟 oral fluency。content 的话呢 ，retells all points of the presentation， 以及他们的关系就是五分了，就是把这个。Presentation 当中所有的点讲出来，它是满分。然后呢，依次往下，你点讲的越少，得的分呢就越低。相同的，我们说分数的大头主要是在 pronunciation 跟 oral fluency 上，所以这个题仍然是一个 how you say it 比 what you say 要来的重要的题目。大家听明白了吗？好，我们来听一道例题啊。听完这道例题之后呢，我会给大家时间准备，然后呢，我来给大家做一个答案的示范。The shuttle was designed to be a space truck. It's a multi-purpose vehicle. We've done a tremendous number of different things with it. It's the most versatile space vehicle that has ever been built. We've used it to launch satellites. We've used it to repair satellites in orbit and put them back into orbit. We've used it to capture satellites and bring them back to Earth for repair. We've outfitted it with the Space Lab built by our European partners, and used it before the era of the space station to do scientific research. We used it as part of our partnership with the Russians, which is still continuing. First, as part of the Mir space station, where we actually prolonged the useful life of Mir by several years. Through logistical supply visits with the shuttle, and now, of course, we're using it to build the new International Space Station, which is a a huge international partnership. This lecture made me talk about a space truck, and the speaker mentioned, in his own words, that this was the most versatile space vehicle he's ever seen. Now, they've certainly done a lot of things with it. And they've used it to launch, repair, and capture a satellite from the space. And at the same time, they've also used it as a space lab to do scientific research. At the same time, they've actually used it as a partnership with the Russians, which is still continuing today. And now, of course, they use it to build the new International Space Station, which kind of was a big project. So, in conclusion, this lecture mainly talk about a space truck. All right， 这就是我们这道题的例题答案了。那么这是我给大家的一个示范。在正式考试当中呢，我们依然会拿出我们的杀手锏，也就是用模板。不管你听到了什么，我们始终就是模板、模板、模板，确定你一定有话说就 OK 了。那如果你需要获取更多的备考资源以及辅导，来扫我们的二维码或者跟我本人取得联系。I'll see you next time.